Number 12 then from paper 2 of the 2019 Higher Maths. Five marks here for... Now you've got the log graph. Now you weren't expecting that. That's not really happening. I can't remember that happening before in the last like 20 years. You've had the log graph and the exponential equation question in the same paper. Usually it's sort of alternate or this just appears sporadically on its own. Anyway, here it's here. Five marks. That may put a few of you off when you see that. It's not actually that bad. Still, it says two variables x and y are connected by this equation here. You suspect, so you produce a log graph. It's an experimental data type question. The resultant line on this graph passes through these two points. If that's the case, what's the values of A and B? Well, the obvious thing to do is write down the equation of that line. Now, you know where it cuts, I'll say the y ish, the vertical axis, so its form is going to be y equals mx plus c. I'll put that in inverted commas because it's not strictly speaking y's that you've got there. Well, what's the gradient? The gradient of that line is the distance up over the distance along. The difference in the vertical coordinates, that's 8 take away negative 1, over the difference in the horizontal coordinates, whatever they may be called. So the gradient is going to be there 9 upon 3, so the gradient's 3. So doing that's definitely going to get you a mark. And if you do this next bit and simply feed it into the equation of a line, giving everything its proper name, y means the vertical axis name, that's actually log 4 of y. m was the gradient. The horizontal axis is in fact called x. And the y-intercept or the vertical intercept is minus 1. That'll be a mark. Now you've just got to rearrange it to read y equals. There are several ways I'm just going to do it one way here. You could, for instance, rearrange that to be log base 4 of something. Well, obviously log base 4 of 4, and then bring it across and so on. I'm just going to leave it like this and do inverse of log base 4 is 4 to the power, 3x minus 1. Then I'm going to fiddle about with those powers. You might not like it, that's what I'm going to do with that. There may well be other ways. Now, one of the rules of indices is if you're adding or subtracting them, that involves a multiplication or division. So that's the same as 4 to the 3x times 4 to the negative 1. See, we're almost there. Because 4 to the negative 1 is just a number. That's just a quarter. I'll put that at the front. And this 4 to the 3x, well, you don't want to look like that. You just want it to be something to the x on its own. You don't want the 3 with it. Well, that's another rule of indices. I'll just split it there. It's 4 to the power 3 to the power x. And 4 to the power 3, the cube of 4 is 64. And that, in fact, is your answer. What is A? A is a quarter. What is B? B is 64.